It's a beautiful day with sunny, clear skies, but believe it or not, our surf is already feeling the impacts from Hurricane Delta, even though the storm is still a few hundred miles away from the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Delta made landfall along the Yucatan Peninsula at 5.45 a.m. Wednesday morning as a Category 2 hurricane. 100 mile per hour winds shook Cancun and is now heading towards the western Gulf of Mexico. A second landfall is anticipated along the Louisiana coast Friday evening. Even with a westward trend, impacts will still be felt on our part of the Gulf Coast. The National Weather Service did issue a high rip current forecast due to the storm, so we are taking it seriously by leaving red flags up. The surf forecast for Gulf Shores on Friday and Saturday is around 8 to 11 feet. And once we feel that it's endangering life, then we'll go ahead and close it to the public. Coastal Mobile and Baldwin County are currently under a storm surge watch. Surge values around 2 to 4 feet on the east side of the storm could occur. We are currently under a state of emergency under Governor Ivey with the concern of the storm getting too close for comfort. The mandate of all visitors, non-residents to evacuate has been put in place. So as the storm comes close, the lifeguards are still encouraging people that are just staying here. To, to go ahead and evacuate ahead of the storm. Gulf Shores is vulnerable from Hurricane Sally as the sand dunes have been depleted. A lot of those dunes were taken out during Hurricane Sally. So with that, if we have substantial storm surge, then it could you know, wash over those areas and into under homes and increase flooding along those areas. If the surf gets too rough, double red flags will fly and there will be an advisory for nobody allowed to be in the water. Reporting in Gulf Shores, I'm meteorologist Colleen Peterson, WKRG News 5.